throw in there when I wasn't looking? See? What is See? that? It's dried beef. Oh. We're going to talk about some old favorite recipes mm -hmm. because, you know, we all get together and, you know, we have to have a little uh, drinking too. Oh, okay? really? Yeah, and this stuff goes. I don't know what goes, goes on in your house. Well, you better come on over. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're doing some old favorites. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing in, in this one, years back, we made a vegetable pizza. Oh, okay. Okay, and now we're taking a little step and putting some dried beef in this one. All right. Now, what I have to tell you is that this oh, one. Oh, you're making a pizza? That's what well, that is? Well, this is pizza, but you know what's cool about this? What? You'll like this, Sean. This is actually a roll of crescent rolls. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and you roll them out in a pan like this. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you kind of push them together. See how I've kind of done that? And yes. Put, and then you just put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. Oh. And it makes a very nice base to make yeah. an appetizer. So what you're Can mixing up then, the oh, we're pretty close. Okay. Stir a little bit better. Yeah, you're really on me about stirring yeah, stir it up. It. I thought it was stir it stirring up. for 10 yeah. minutes. I just wanted to tell you this. Dry, yeah. Look for dried beef. You can find it packaged. And you can also find it in jars. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? It's very salty. So you'll notice that with recipes, you won't add a lot. Yeah. I, my friend says to rinse it just a little bit when you take it out of the package. Oh, okay. And then just lightly because rinse it's been it. Sitting there. It, well, no, yeah. it gets rid of some of the extra salt. Yeah. That but makes there's sense. no salt in this recipe. Well, we started with the cream cheese and some a little bit of mayo, and mm -hmm. we mixed that all together. Go ahead, and yell I at me added again. a little. Keep mixing. Keep, keep, keep mixing. mixing. I did a little green onion, and this mm -hmm. is easier if you take your cream cheese and soften it a bit. Okay. So drop it on. We're going to spread it around. Buk. I don't think you said what you did, so I'm yeah. just going to ignore you. I'm just going to ignore you as you do this. Yeah, you do. Now you got to take the back of your spoon there and spread it and around. And spread it around I hear you. like you're I hear spreading. You. I love making you work, Sean. <laughs> I think it's such a good thing for you to work. Once in a while. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh my, you better let that go. <laughs> I think we need a little uh, help here. Now, over. this is I what I want you to do now. Okay. Ahead of you, you see, we have Green Bay Packer colors. Yes. So oh, I yeah. want Start you to get some. Yeah, I want you to sprinkle on these are yellow peppers. Ooh. Okay, great, huh? All right, and some green onion. Yes, we're good, we're mm -hmm. good. And then you could put a few black olives on it if you wanted to. Ta -da. A lot of chives. Isn't that kind of fun? Mm. Nope. Yeah. Green Ooh, onion. Very good. Green, oh, green onion. onion. Green, green onion. onion. Yeah. And we'll go and put a little bit more, of course, of my there good go. beef on it because this is the, just a Where's the great product? treat. Is, You're going to do it. it. Underneath here? No, Usually, darling. There's like a finished product darling, when the cook comes. You're going to cut. Oh, I thought you'd throw it in the oven, no? No, oh. no, no. Oh, we already baked the crust. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> Kim <laughs> over here, there's a second recipe that we have available. Uh -huh. Going to town on this. What is it? Yes, and that one is also with dried beef and pickles. Good. Mm, really good. Dill pickles. You crunch them up. I thought the pickles would be company. weird. Yeah. But it's, um, a yeah, it's not too strong. No, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's great. And it has cream cheese also and a little sour cream in that one. Now, all the recipes are available, as you know. On our website, which is beeftips.com. Okay. And these will be all under the faster, appetizers. Faster. Let's go. 800. That's because you're so Feel hungry. Feel free to poke him with the fork. Thank you. No. <laughs> mm. But this but is just fast, good stuff to eat. Oh, you look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, let's Get hope that we have a Super Bowl party to plan with you too, eh? Aww. Yeah, absolutely. And at 11 o'clock, I'm coming back. We're going to do a hot sandwich. It'd be kind of neat. Hot sandwich. But you know how we all like to get around and just snack and do things like this. And I think that these recipes here then are really good for doing that. And it's always nice to have a little dried beef just on the shelf because very quickly you, you can never whip know. together. You, never know. you can never, you can whip something together that's, that's really our show tasty for now, and good. Virginia. We're hey. going to real Milwaukee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but you can Bye, bring the Virginia. <laughs> she can bring the dried beef, though. I'm, right. I'm this dip is awesome. We love having Virginia here all morning long because yeah. then at 11 o'clock we get hot sandwiches. Snarf, snarf. Good stuff.